Welcome back and here I am again with the KTM 390 engine. In our last video we had installed the cylinder head and in this video we will be installing the camshafts. So firstly as we had removed these valve shims we place these valve shims in a valve seat. This will be placed on the intake left valve. The rocker arm is then closed. We do the same for the remaining three valves. Intake right. Exhaust left. Exhaust right. So all the four seams are now in place. It is now time to clean the camshafts and cam bearing bridge. So we have taken off these bolts from the cam bearing bridge and have arranged it as per the pattern so that these doesn't mismatch. These components are then thoroughly cleaned. I am using diesel and a brush to clean this. This cam holder bridge is one of the most important part which has to be cleaned before installing onto the cylinder head as this part is responsible for oil circulation onto the cylinder head. Oil from the crankcase hits at this point and is then circulated in these paths all over the cam bearing bridge and also to these jets which spray oil onto the valve springs. Hence it is very important to clean this and these paths where the oil circulates has to be thoroughly free from any of the particles, dust and grime. Once these are clean, we also clean these jets by river spraying them. So after back flushing the jets, there is one small particle inside which has been deposited. So this is it. So this if left as it is could definitely clog this jet over time. So hence it is very important to clean these jets and if these jets are blocked there won't be oil circulation onto the valve springs which could cause major damage. Once cleaned the cam assembly is now ready to go onto the cylinder head and before that crank has to be set to the top dead center. So this arrow has to match with this mark for the crank to be on top dead center. And before installing the cam bearing bridge, the cam lobes and valve springs are lubricated. Also the rocker arms. There are two dowels, one sit here and another one here. And firstly the exhaust camshaft goes in and before this goes in, this is oiled.
with the timing chain pulled up without any slack on either sides. The camshaft is inserted. in this direction so that the T is on top. And these two markings align to the cylinder head. Then goes the intake camshaft. Both camshafts are aligned such a way that the T is on top and these reference marks align to the cylinder head. This bridge is then placed. Followed by this guide rail. These bolts are then fastened as per the order. These bolts are then tightened at 11 Newton meters in crisscross pattern from inside to outside. With this done, the timing chain tensioner is then installed. The tensioner is detensioned. The gasket is installed. The tensioner goes in. These are the screws which fasten the tensioner. These are tightened at 12 Newton meters. The tensioner is then released. This bolt is then mounted and this is tightened at 10 Newton meters. As you can see, the markings are perfectly aligned. And there is perfect free play in the camshafts. So this completes the installation of camshafts. In our next video, we'll check and adjust the valve variances of this engine. Many thanks for watching. See you in the next video.